training people all the time. How to, how to do a track meet, how to use the system. And you know, the trickiest part is setting up. Once they've got that, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. So remember that our, our mission was to fundraise. And even though we're sort of, a, I guess, a service provider, and we raise quite a bit of money in a year, all that money goes to Brewer High School. It goes, Giles <laughs> did. We are a fundraiser for our, for our school, and that money that we raise goes back into our track program. Goes back, we are in total control of it, so it's not like any superintendent's going to come in and take our money and go buy something else. But we buy finish link stuff, we buy stuff for our track. Uh, we have a new eight-lane track that's going to go online in our in our school in the next year and a half or so, and it's going to be state of the art. And you know we're we're saving a lot of money to do things with that. Um, but back in oh, I'm going to say 1998 or so, we were looking for a new way to make money besides just going out and getting paid to there. Honestly, to do meets in Maine, you don't get paid much money. The market isn't great. You know, it'd be nice if we could go and charge thousands to do meets. We wouldn't get hired because it's not there. So we needed to come up with a way to make more money. And in conversations with Giles, he had sort of put to us uh, that maybe we print pictures. And as luck, we've been kind of lucky in a lot of ways. First of all, having Dougie go to my school, um, but. There was a gentleman at the University of Maine who was very much involved in the USATF, Roland Ranson, and he somehow got the National Masters at the University of Maine in 1998. And he hired us to time it. And uh, so at that National Masters in 1998, we started selling pictures. And what we, what we found out was that the people loved them, that Masters people, older people, apparently have a lot of money, didn't think twice about buying these things. And so that was sort of the beginning for us. We, we did a 14 and under meet that soon after that. Uh, there was a state meet in Maine. That's probably our biggest meet with competitors. It probably has maybe 900 competitors. So it's not a real big meet in scale of something you're doing. But it's probably the biggest thing we do. And we, so we put a couple computers out in the middle of the field and we started selling pictures. Just selling the picture. Just taking a piece of paper, putting a picture on it, and giving it to people for $5 a piece, and we sold 196 in the meat. And we're like, we just made $1,000. This was like 1998 at this meet, just selling those pictures. And so that was sort of the beginning. Um, we got the National Masters again in 2002, uh, and we went to, Giles came up, I think, and brought us a, a heat press from Lynx, we started selling t-shirts. And those people loved the t-shirts. We couldn't, we couldn't, we had to keep going back and getting more t-shirts because they just loved them. Um, and so, and we also at that time started putting the, uh, putting the pictures on boards and selling them for a little bit more, selling it for $10. Uh, so from about 2002 to now, we've been selling t-shirts, uh, we've been selling boards, uh, the price has gone up a little bit over the years. Uh, we started at $5 for just a piece of paper. Um, we went to $10 on boards. We went to $12 on boards in about 19, about 2006, I think. In fact, a funny story, uh, Giles' daughter runs for, uh, ran for Phillips Andover. And uh, we were timing the New England Prep School Championship at uh, Loomis Chaffee. And which is in Connecticut, and uh, Giles came up to watch his daughter run, and he was, you know, he was in the, you know how Giles is, he was in the tent, and he was <laughs> smooching and shaking people's hands and telling funny stories, and everybody's kind of looking, who's that guy? Why is he in this tent? And um, so he said to me, he said, how much are you selling your pictures for? And I said, $12. He said, why? I said, well, it seemed like a fair price, you know, making a good profit. He said, what do you think those people are doing with the extra $3 when they give you $15? <coughs> what do you think they're doing with those three $1 bills? I said, 
I don't know. He said, they're putting them in their pocket. They don't care. So at the end of the meet, the guy, the young man I had that was doing the pictures comes over to me and he goes, he goes, uh, Dave, uh, some English guy came and bought a picture. And he gave me $15 and he refused to take the $3. <laughs> I went, okay, I got the message, Giles. So we went to $15. And the ironic part of this whole story is like, a few months ago, I was down at his house, and he goes, he goes how much are you selling the pictures for? I said, $15. He goes, oh, man, are you taking those people? <laughs> so, so we sell the pictures for $15. Uh, we sell the T-shirts for $20. Um, I've sort of made a list there of the equipment. You want to talk about that, Buck? And yeah, I'm going to use. I'm going to show a, a, a four-minute video of our setup. And what's really important is that um, when you go in time of meet, you're 95% of the way to being able to sell pictures because you've got, you know, you've got your link system set up. You're storing your pictures, your images on a computer. If you're doing field links, you've got a wireless network set up. Even if you don't have field links, all you need to do is plug a Ethernet cable into your hub, plug it into another computer, and train, really, we train high school kids in 10 minutes how to print a picture. It's crop, print, I mean, with a couple of more things than that, but that's really it. So the, the you know, the, the equipment, you can see, is not very expensive. It's a printer and a laminator and a t-shirt press, and you're ready to go. So I'm going to just... Corey shows us that this this meet it's a Hershey State meet in Maine, and Hershey. Do you all know what Hershey is? The Hershey track and field. It is it's dying a slow death. At least it is in Maine. And in the 70s it was pretty big, and now we might get a hundred kids at this meet. So it's so when you watch this, this is this is like a really rinky dink meet. I mean, really rinky dink, and and yet. We don't charge them much, but, well, there's a, there's a portion of Maine called Aroostook County. They call it the county. And these people don't get out much. Okay? And so when they come down to Bangor, which is like quite a trip, that's a three-hour trip, uh, it's big city. And when they see this stuff, they go wild. I mean, we've got 100 competitors in this meet, and we'll sell 35 or 40 pictures. I mean, it's ridiculous, you know? So this is the Hershey meet in our setup. Could somebody turn the lights off? Yeah.